This new gas leak happened in the same spot of a gas leak earlier this week. As you can see behind me, crews are still making repairs. People working in buildings nearby evacuated for safety. Gas line crews spent another day doing repairs outside one of downtown Fort Worth skyscrapers. Part of the street is blocked along with sidewalks as Atmos technicians work nonstop to fix underground gas lines. It was not the scene businesses here wanted to see today. Restaurant manager Steve Till and his staff had the lead from the Petroleum Club on the 40th floor. I know when I came down about 1:15, I made sure our club was, uh, everybody was out. Uh, I could smell gas immediately in the lobby. Despite the smell of gas, firefighters did not order people out of nearby buildings, but some businesses evacuated anyway. They're not far from the Sandman Hotel, where a gas explosion is still being investigated after 21 people were hurt last week. In the Grace restaurant nearby, the owner rushed his employees to safety when they started smelling gas just after 1 o'clock Friday. He shared this photo of his employees he evacuated to another downtown restaurant he owns. Atmos Energy has been in contact with the businesses impacted by the gas leaks. They were counting on things being back to normal for the weekend. Friday nights is one of our big nights. Um, we're now going to try to get a hold of all the reservations that we've had. We have to make sure everybody knows not to come back down. This new gas leak happened on the same day. A judge issued a temporary restraining order on cleanup at the Sandman Hotel as investigators still try to find out how that hotel exploded. In Fort Worth, I'm Scoop Jefferson.